What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I appreciate it very much. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you do not miss out on any of my upcoming content. So on today's video, I headed out to the river on an extremely windy day. We're talking 30 mile per hour sustained winds, gust over 40. It was pretty doggone nasty, but it was nice and warm and sunny and I was hoping the fish would be willing to come up and bite some top water. And it just so happens that I was able to call some fish up and I ended up catching a really solid fish as well. So despite the windy conditions, we had a good day. So let's go ahead and get into the video. here we are here the sun is shining bright i had to come out of my hoodie my god it got hot quick really quick but we're here right here to this first spot i really really hope they're here they should be they should be so water temps are 56.3 in here so we're going to get up here and check go throw that rage bug throw the jig might throw the crankbait. I don't know. Definitely a spinnerbait when we go around here. But the fish should be here. I'm going to kind of go around and look on the graph first and see what we got. But I'm hoping we catch them and I hope we catch a dog going big in today. All right. Well, I'm going to stop talking and we're going to go ahead and get the fish. So we're going to pick up that rage bug first. And we're going to throw up here to this spot where... I caught them last time and they may not be here you know that was i don't know three weeks ago i'm not real sure pretty good while ago so the fish should be shallow or fairly shallow i would think but we're gonna check them check them deep and uh kind of all over the place give them a good honest effort see if we can catch some today Hopefully we catch a big one. There was actually a couple different places I want to fish today, but the wind was blowing so hard. I mean, it's blowing 25. Luckily we're protected in here pretty good, but out there on the main river, it is blowing big time. So, see if we got them up there. that spinnerbait up see if we can do some work with that thing all right well as much as i don't want to i'm gonna put a cinco on because I'm going to tell you what, there's really no reason why we're not catching any fish or not a reason that I can figure out anyway. So we got a Cinco on here. We're going to throw this around, see if we can catch one on it. And this might be, might be the key, might be the key to getting bit. You know, I've about thrown everything else on the deck right now with the exception of a Bangalore that I have on the deck. And then also I have a flat side square bill up here, but something's got to give. There are some fish that want to bite and I don't know what they're doing, where they're at, 
or anything. But I know they should be biting. So we had to completely change things up. tell you what fishing here lately in the river has been very tough uh, we've had a lot of rain it's brought the river up the weekends have been not good storming raining wind blowing a hundred mile per hour like it is today it's made fishing very tough oh my god a big fish just blew up right there Eat it, eat it, eat it. God, he's gonna make me get the Bangalore out. I got it on the deck. That fish was shallow. Man, I've, I mean, I threw the Cinco up there, didn't even touch it. Hmm. That fish was up there shallow. Shoot, let's go ahead and start throwing the Bangalore in. I mean, it's been on my mind this whole time to throw it. So, that's what we're going to do. Get that Bangalore out. There she is. Talking to y'all and old boy come up. Cranked on something. I mean, it might be a little difficult throwing this with all this stuff on the water. But hey, we'll see if we get bit. Oh, just as soon as it hit the water, first top water fish of the year. And it's a good one, too. Get it. Oh no! Doggone it. Man. Well, <laughs> I didn't even move it. I mean, as soon. God, my drag was loose. I don't know why my drag was loose. Doggone it. called him a little bit too soon well <laughs> what does that tell us other than now we're throwing in the trees man as soon as it hit the water that was a nice fish too All right, so I got that bite on top water and I saw that fish blow up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, I, I fished up in a little pocket right here and I didn't get bit, but I'm gonna get some of this stuff off the deck and I'm gonna get my top water stuff out, including the old frog. And I'm gonna switch up my Bangalore to the three hook version so I can cast that a little bit better. And we're gonna try to push the issue with this top water deal. Cause I hadn't been throwing this thing long at all when I got bit. So let's put a few things up, get a couple things out and we'll get back to fishing. We're gonna move further back in the pocket. Gonna go right around this bend here. See if we can get bit. All right, we came all the way to the back of the pocket. So we're gonna fish this point right here with the old rage bug. I'm 
throw up here. Got a piece of wood sitting off of it. So we're gonna throw it there and see if we can get one. I don't know why I keep backlashing. Like I stuck my finger on the spool to stop it and it kind of like kicked back at me and now I got a freaking knot. Right here is the kind of place where if they're here, you can catch five in a hurry and five good ones. And it's kind of what we need. It's kind of what we need to go on because we have been struggling. On the frog. Oh, it's a nice one too. Get in here, first frog fish of the year. Oh, and he come off. First frog fish of the year. Right there. Got him. Right there. Man up, crazy shallow. Nice, 58.4 four degree water we're gonna take a quick picture of this guy just because he's the first one of the year all righty first frog fish of the year right there thank you bud yes that's awesome that is awesome Right there, I mean, he was behind that log, behind that stump. Nice. Yo, man, look at that water. 60.4, Lee. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, God, another one just moved. Right there on the bank. Look, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm throwing, I'm throwing near them. And I don't know if they're coming and looking at it or what they're doing. Let me let me see if that fish will bite. Dude, I, I need to get my crap together, man. I, I might need to. Oh, God, dig it. Oh, there he is. Oh, got him. I was going to say, oh, it's a three pounder. Get in here. Woohoo. I mean, a fat one on the frog. Yep. Oh, all right. Oh man, I'm sitting here talking to Leo on the phone and he's uh he's probably gonna come fishing now. But I saw this fish move. They are up shallow. That is a beautiful one. I thought at first he was a little bit bigger, but that's a two and a half pounder all day. Man, finally we are catching some fish on the frog. This is awesome. Yes. I didn't talk Lee into coming now, so you're probably gonna see Lee in the boat before the day is over with. I've literally fished. I'm gonna go ahead and throw him back, but thank you, bud. I've literally fished for over two and a half hours now, and nothing, nothing was happening. And just picked up top water about maybe 45 minutes ago, and I've done went to catch them. Lost that one on the Bangalore. Now catching them on the frog. This is awesome. I was thinking about switching over to aqua frog. I'm not gonna do it now. We're gonna stick with the old swamp frog. Let's get them. Yes. And I'm throwing this, y'all can see on a new rod. This is a 7-2 lose carbon fire speed stick just a 70 dollar rod from dick sporting goods and i like it so far you know i broke my other frog rod last year and just was having trouble finding a rod that i really liked and i think this one uh i think this one's gonna work out it's got you know kind of that softer tip and loads up good i don't like a stiff rod when i'm throwing this frog in open water Nice. Well, I don't know if we caught the only two fish that were <laughs> pulling up and willing to bite a frog or 
or what, but no more bites. So we're gonna get right and pull the trolling motor up and head to another pocket that's up the river. So I'm gonna throw this a few more times. See if we can get old big girl to come up, but if not, we're gonna pull this trolling motor up and make a move. All right, let's pull this trolling motor up. Let's head out of here. Get everything strapped down and roll on out. So, we made the very rough ride to a pocket down the river and just about got the crap beat out of us because it is windy out there. I mean, very windy. But we're going to get down here just a little bit and the water's almost sick. It just hit 60 degrees. We're going to stop right here. We're going to tie on the... Uh, yellow popping frog like we had before got it right down there in the floor we're gonna tie that on and we are hopefully gonna smash them the wind's not too bad in here oh it's so rough it just about beat my unit off the front I swear it's just terrible but I want to get that yellow tie back on because I did not do anything on the aqua frog so, and that might not be the case in here, but that's where my confidence is right now. So we're gonna go ahead and get yellow tied back on and let's get them. All right, let's see if we can get a darn top water bite in here. I don't see no reason why we shouldn't be able to bad I mean the wind is so bad right now that when my frog is landing it's actually just blowing it away from the tree I do not understand this. Oh, I might have just got a little nip. I just got a little nibble, but no Cinco bite, no flipping bite, no jig bite, no chatterbait bite. Got one Bangalore bite, not another one after that. Frog bite, got two. Thought that was the deal. That went away just as quick as it began. So confused. No crankbait bite. Threw that a bunch earlier. I don't know. We're going to throw this spinnerbait around. See if we can get bit on this. I mean, there's no reason why all this wind no reason why we shouldn't be able to get a spinnerbait bite. Water it. Oh my goodness. Whatever that was, just hit it so hard. It, oh, it just bit it again. It just bit it again. What is it? Oh, it's a gar. Cigar. Ain't no wonder. All right, so, oh, that was a fish. I don't know what that was. I got stuff biting it now. I don't 
Probably just a bunch of gar laid up there. There's one. There's one. Nice one. All right. Spinner bait. Get in here. Chunk. All right. <laughs> Whew. How long has it been since we caught a fish? Good grief. There we go. On the old spinner bait. It has been a while. I mean, all three fish we've caught have been decent, but man, they've been few and far in between. Thank you, bud. All right. Spinner bait. Spinner bait, spinner bait. He was like on the other side of a log, so like when he loaded up, I wasn't sure if it was a fish or a log. Good deal. I mean, it's only been like three hours since we caught a fish. Whew. And that's not an exaggeration. That is factual information right there. Crazy. We're gonna pull this trolling motor up and we're gonna go right up here and we're gonna come back down through here and then whatever we do on this run, that's gonna be it. That is gonna be it. All righty. First, I'm gonna look to see if I have any food in here, which I'm pretty sure I don't because I'm about to starve. Oh, look at there. Doggone it, I sure do. Oh, this stuff is super old. Let me see. Are these nabs even in deep? Oh, no. There. Actually went out a year ago. They Everything in here is out of date. It's not good. Yep, back on it. Well, looks like I need to revamp. Yeah, gonna have to dump all that out, throw it in the trash, and uh, <laughs> get some some new stuff in here because that is all very very old. So we're gonna turn around. We're going to fish back down this side. I've got a loose connection in my unit up here. I knocked something loose apparently when I was running down the rough, rough river. But we're going to throw the spinnerbait down this side right here and hopefully we get bit. I mean, we got that bite from that one fish. Gives me hope. <laughs> Gives me a little bit of hope. So we're going to throw the spinnerbait. See if we can get one. There's one. There's one. I want a spinner bait. He's a little guy, but he's a fish. There we go. Little teeny dude. Thanks for biting. Darn if we didn't catch another fish. I swear. It has been one of them days. A grinder. Hopefully we get a big one on this spinnerbait though. God, this wind. Yep. Don't come off. 
Got him pretty good, but we're gonna net him in the new net. And we got a can of bang garlic in there. Come here. Yes. Yes. Man, we have fished hard for him. Got me singing. That's a chunk. Look at him. Just choke that doggone spinnerbait. Give myself a little bit of line. I had just got crushed right back there. These fish are probably pushing up. Well, they've probably been pushed up, but there we go. Absolutely choked it. Somebody's calling my phone right now, but that is a doggone pretty one right there. Let's silence that phone. Pretty one. Chunk. Man, we have we have worked hard for that one. I know the audio is terrible. I apologize. But that's a pretty one. He's over three for sure. Maybe three and a half. It's a nice fish. I'm gonna get him let go. All right, thank you, bud. I'm gonna let him go. Is he gonna jump for us? Oh yeah, he's gonna jump. Oh, he slung water all the way over here on me. <laughs> Good deal, that is awesome. All right, let's get us another one. Last cast, we fished hard, we caught some fish, but doggone, they were tough. They were tough. Their wind was tough. It was just, just a tough day, but that's all right. We put some in the boat, got to touch some, and caught one pretty decent one. So I'm happy about that, but we got a pretty bumpy ride back to the ramp. So we're gonna get everything strapped down and uh, just see how fun this is gonna be to get this bad boy on the trailer, cause this is gonna be fun in that current and that wind. 